Uh, right, that's. I'm dreading it. You know, I'm really am dreading this. It's a beautiful logo and it's so well implemented, and I am bound to make a mess of it. <coughs> right, the game's loading. Sorry about that. Hello, I'm back. Right, let's put the wish list on the big screen up the top here. Right, you are cleared to resume westbound. I have a westbound grain train. Um, lead unit UP7.66, approaching spear. He will hold a spear west, so you can cross over to Bori Cutoff Dispatcher out. Right, now for those of you watching this, I will now say that I, this is not going to be the right way to drive this loco, okay? Let me just be completely clear about that. This is just a way to drive this loco. Everything works in this loco. It really is insane. Which one's that on the blower? I don't need the blower. I don't need that one. I need... Not that one yet. Let's get the brakes sorted out. Uh, that's the defroster. I don't need the defroster. Uh, I need the cylinder cocks open. Uh, I'll show the external in a minute. This one's going to be a little. This one's a bit harder to drive than all the other ones, so uh, you'll have to bear with me. Let's uh, put her in forwards, and we'll knock the sludge, sludge removers. Let's get the windows open, get some ventilation in. Get the doors open. Hey, thanks for the follow there, Boyle J97. Another door to open. Right, how are we doing here? Need some oil going in. We need the atomizer switched on a little. Have we got a fire? We've got a fire, excellent. And we need to open the damper a little bit. Feel like I'm forgetting a ton of stuff here. Blow down those valves. Another one here. And that one there to do that one there. So we've got 300 pounds of boiler pressure. That one's done. Oh, I am most certainly missing something. Hey, Erka9954, thanks for the follow, much appreciated. Yes, this is indeed an oil powered engine. This is not the same beastie that you're used to. Okay. That wasn't what I wanted to do, was it? Right, let's release the brakes. We need to release the brakes and use that. That's better.
This is the steam chest pressure. So when it chops, it's an absolute pain to get going. Let me go in now. We are moving. Let's get the cylinder cocks closed. So coming into a 30 limit. Yeah, let's do that on the right hand side. Need to open this window as well. There's another hatch up here. Let's get that open. We also forgot to put the headlights on. I'll show you the outside once we get moving a little bit. So our fire mass is doing okay. What we will do though, I think, is just ease that up a little bit more. Boiler pressure starting to go down. Oh, we're speeding. No, oh, don't speed. There we go. So this is our in-cab signalling, which suggests we've got something fun coming up. Hey, uh, Scoyotolo, welcome to the channel this evening. There's diesels or helpers. That's a fairly standard thing, and in fact, I can even drive the diesel from here. So I can actually uh, fire up the other diesel, stick it in forward, and start powering it up. You can hear it powering up behind me. I won't do that. Where's the on button? No. Display, there we go. There we go. Now we've got the. This is called a Wilma, which is in communication with what's on the back. Uh, Seri Action X. Um, thanks for joining the uh, channel. Steven Epps, yes, I probably did. I'm a bit busy. <laughs> um. Okay, Steve, thank you. I'll go and have a look. We're showing a uh, slightly negative uh, pressure, so let's open the uh, regulator just a little here. We've got a red light there. Stop! 
This is going to go badly. Should have been taking that signal a bit more seriously. Uh, why is he going backwards? Oh, he isn't going backwards. Ugh. Oh well, let's try that again. Yes, Jesse, I'm using my keyboard. Uh, Van Lero, I have no idea about oil tank temperature. Like I said, I'm no expert on this, and I knew this was going to be uh, interest. Uh, King Julian, thanks for joining the channel this evening. And uh, if I've missed anybody, Bono and Boyle and uh, Tealus. Right. I'll do all this rubbish again. All right, let's get that going. Uh, let's. Uh... Oh, if Mike Rennie was watching this channel, he, I'd be in so much trouble. If you're watching this on video, Mike, I really apologise. Right. Right. Hey, Ninja Joker, thanks for joining the channel this evening. Uh, what, what else have we got? Cylinder cocks need opening. No, that needs opening. And we need the. Uh, let's get the lights on because it makes everything a bit easier to see. And turn the headlight on. And. Yes, it does have a Mars light. If I knock it on now, you can see it on the front. But let's turn that off for the minute. Um, I wait for all the times the emergency brakes have to come on. We'll stick the blower on a little bit. Set the dampers on a bit. Get the windows open because that was in the manual and it says it was essential. Or implied it was essential. Believe it or not, I did actually try and practice this today. I know it doesn't seem like it. Beautiful animations on this thing, they really are. Right, now let's uh, knock that. Knock that. Reverse it forward. Release the brakes. Air pump. That's what I was missing before. Yeah, I'm sorry, this is difficult. I can't do chat and this at the same time. Hey, Teona Sagara, Lukin, Karma99, Hurricane Mama, Dominus Edwardius. And thanks for the follow there, Teona Sagara. Ah, control valve, that's what I'm forgetting. How are we doing? How are we doing a bit better this time? See you, Mariah Marino. Thanks for joining us this evening. There's now 40 people who can whip this, my fails. Welcome 9 Some more oil in there. So like I said at the beginning, 
please do not take that this is the right way to drive this loco. This is just getting it moving, showing you some of what it can do. No problem, 9299. Good to have you with us at all. Not you, double nine, Blackhawk, Sonic Shot, George Chambers, and Dig Doug. Thanks for joining the channel. Well, exactly, Lou Bandero. There's nothing about. Uh, it's all about the fun of it. If you're not having fun, don't do it. Tell you what, this is really hard to drive. But when you get it right, it's possibly the most rewarding thing you'll ever do in the game. Let's turn those off. I don't need them open at the moment. Good evening, JM1260. Thanks for joining us. So we've got a caution signal coming up here. Just keep an eye on the water level. So let the steam chest pressure come down. We're coming up to 30. Alright, that signal is giving us that alarm, so I'm just going to uh, take it easy for the next signal. So when you blow the whistle horn, if you press the enter key on the numeric enter key, sorry, the main, the main enter key, it actually cools the whistle so you can get the, uh, the lower tone, which is quite neat. Put a little bit of pressure in the steam chest, keep it going. Check the fireman's job, how are you doing in water? Bubbling up and down nicely. This is where Mike's looking at this video later on saying, Oh, what are you doing? You've forgotten this. <laughs> You're most welcome, Lacutus, that's really good to hear. Uh, my boiler pressure is sort of tanking. Why is my boiler pressure tanking? Oh, because I'm misbehaving with it. I've got it in full reverser. Oh dear, oh dear. That'll get that going. And go and get the blower moving. That'll get that back up a bit faster. Oh, look at it come up now. You can see it come up. Signal's just coming up, it's a bit under a mile away. I'll take a look at your screenshot in a bit, 92009. I'm sort of stressed at the minute. <laughs> Good stress though, just to be clear. This is uh, kind of having fun, which is what it's all about really. A loco like this will take you quite a while to learn. It's a bit sort of like the A10 in DCS. There's uh, an awful lot of. Uh, it'll take you, you know. The, I don't know about this. The A10 was about a month, a month of solid work before you can actually learn to fly it. Um, and uh, I don't know if this will take a month, but it will certainly take a concerted effort. You just cannot sit down and drive this thing. Uh, you have to read the manual, practice it, get it wrong, and get it right again. Um, let's get the OTD switched on, which is that one. So we've got a red signal up here, which we just need to be aware of.
So we're slowing down. Hey, crazy gamer 69 PET, welcome back to the channel, and Mort3x, welcome to the channel. So we're running the uh, Union Pacific FEF3 Northern uh, American Steam Loco on Sherman Hill. Um, this particular model has uh, a standout characteristic of being possibly one of the most accurate steam simulations ever in a train simulation, and uh, certainly most in depth. Um, every just about every button, lip, lever, switch characteristic that you can imagine has been implemented. It's uh, mad. It really is. So we're just waiting for this uh, loco to uh, go past. Hey, Sabals. Thanks for joining. Welcome to the channel. So having a bit of a steam special to see uh, tonight. Very good point there, Ed. Very good point. Right, so we've got our uh, green light, so I'm going to uh, get back in the cab. Oh, I'd help if I was actually looking in the right thing. So we're in a 50 limit, but we're coming into a 30, so let's just target the 30. Yes, the uh, the Jinty is very nice. In fact, I like the Jinty and the J94. They're both really nice. Keeping an eye on the steam chest pressure up here. So we've been given another ad, uh, indication, but it's not advert, not as adverse. It's better than it was. Let me just check the water levels. So easy to forget them. So they're coming down. Timeliness penalty. Well, I got stuck behind the train. Oh, I probably should have stopped on that marker. You know what? I'm past caring. I'm enjoying driving my train. The score is just not important. Okay. So, 844, if, if you don't already know about it, 844 is still in existence, actually. You can... Uh, you're in America, you can go and see the rail thing. I think it's based in Cheyenne, which is on this route, funnily enough. Steam chest is building, pressure's building back up. Boiler pressure's doing good too, that's excellent. So what we can probably do is turn that blower off now. Okay, welcome back, Metro Rail fan. Thank you for the follow, Shell YT. Welcome uh, at Suko2 and Shell YT to the channel. Much uh, good to have you with us. Hey, we've been promoted to a green signal. Now, what we need is a. Uh, Now we don't need it's a bit of a bit of bit of faster speed limit so we can get this thing moving. Get the feed water injector going. Let's get some water into this thing.
Yes, I'm rather s smothering the fire at the moment. Oh, I put the fire out. Now I've got to remember I'll put it back on again. Burn a blow back, I think. There we go, but relit the fire. No, you can't use automatic firemen on this one. Well, there is an automatic fireman. Welcome, Nathan. Welcome back, Dark. Uh, because I, I I stopped before the um, the marker, Dark rather than stopping on the marker. didn't realise I had to uh, stop on the marker, and so I got a minus 880 points just for that. I don't like speeding. I just end up doing it a lot. It's a bit confusing, Steve, but if you read the manual, it is all explained. It is all explained in very good detail. Mike's done a fabulous job on the manual. Just realised I've got the loco brake on. Well, not clever, isn't it? Welcome, Carmel 47 UK. How's the water level doing? Oh, excellent. I can turn that down again. Boiler pressure still doing well. We're maintaining speed ish. Oh, are we going to get to get this thing moving at a sensible speed at last? <laughs> hey Pandato and Key Fortunia, welcome to the uh, channel this evening. Good to have you with us. Now I'm speeding again because I was busy drinking and not watching what I was doing. Yes, my score at the end of the scenario is not going to be good. Stick my head out a bit. All right, I'll stick my head out a bit. Devious Stoli, welcome to the channel. Right, coming into a 60 and then into a 70, so. Bit of pressure in the steam chest. I know, minus 1400. I know. Golf scoring, right? Lower is better. That's what I'm talking about. 
See, there's someone who knows how to make a bad situation into a better one. Hey, e man, welcome. You're witnessing me doing a, a scenario that, to be honest, I did say was probably going to go badly, but at least we are getting there. We're accelerating now. Probably do with getting the water back put put in. Boiler pressure is maintaining a good 300. Math.abs, I think that would be a good idea, Dominus Avorius. Why do I keep saying that? Ed. Stand up on this grassy knoll. Probably a bad idea that I'm not sitting in the cab right now. But this has got bad idea written all over it. Had a loop. Right. How are we doing? Boiler pressure still good. Water levels coming down. Speed going up. A little bit more than the steam chest. Uh, what ended up winning in the poll last night? Uh, commuter, if I remember rightly. There is another poll now. So if you haven't voted in the poll, diesel, steam or electric, what is your uh, what is your vote? This is where we stand right now. 45% steam, 41% diesel, electric 14%. Tells me you like steam commuter trains. Is that right? Put the cut off forward a bit. Cost us a bit of boiler pressure, but we can get back some of the more of this speed. Ah, we're going uphill as well, that isn't helping. Coming up to a 50 limit, so I'm just going to back off. Now, if I remember rightly, down here there is a live injector, and here is the other one for the water. All right, let's get some water going in the other way around. This thing just doesn't like slowing down, does it? That's better. <laughs> I just read what you said, dog. Nice one. <laughs> coming into uh, we're rocking around here boiler water levels going up boiler pressure staying good the 
let's get some more pressure in the steam chest, see if we can't accelerate up a bit more up this hill. We seem to have the boiler pressure for it. Now if you do it right it doesn't stop steaming, if you do it wrong it stops steaming very very quickly. This is the boiler pressure gauge, these are my brake gauges, speedometer. You can even put sand in there, so once I've got this open, that's the fire, if I click that it chucks sand through the flue to clean them out. Um, you've got your voltmeter up here so you can see what your electrical system is doing. And yes, if the electrical system's not working, all the lights switch off. Now we're going up a hill, but we're managing the speed limit. Yeah, I threw some sand through the uh, blues. It, it cleans them out. Seems to have pretty reasonable smoke there. That looks like that might be a bit blue though, it probably means I've got the atomizer too high. Let's turn it down a bit and see how we get on. Hey GG Spikey, George Chambers and One Shot One Kill DK, welcome to the channel. Yeah, if you like steam engines, you pretty much have to be an owner of this one. I mean this is just phenomenal, it really is. Come on, we need some pressure in there. Uh, dark, yes. I would definitely mark this is the hardest loco to drive. Um, and it's, uh, but like I said, it's also one of the most rewarding to drive. There is a standard version. Um, thanks for the follow there, One Shot One Kill DK. Much appreciated. Um, so there is a standard version. You can use the HUD. So if you like the loco and you want to have a, just an easy way in, then you can have that. Um, you don't have to worry about. Um, if I can't get to grips with this, am I just going to throw my money down the toilet? Because that's not the case. It comes as a standard version, and then you've got the advanced version. Um, and you can uh, take it as you learn it. Although, it, like I said, it is so worth learning. It really is. Fire mass is going down, so I just need to put a bit more on the oil regulator. How's the water level? The water level is doing good. I'm going to turn off the... Um, live injector since we've uh, we've got the regulator open at the moment well Jesse have a look back through the video once later on once it's on YouTube and uh, you should be able to um, see what I've been doing and then I'd re thoroughly thoroughly recommend read the manual really really read the manual what you want to know is in there because honestly, if it can teach me to drive it, it can teach anybody. I'm a bit special like that. There we go. Putting the cutoff forward. Slab more steam into the steam chest and we're now accelerating again. Nice one, Doc. Cheers, Steve. See you shortly.
Hopefully there's a steam train coming in somewhere. Where are you? Man, oh, you're still there. I don't think I've gone this far forward. Uh, SD is the standard diff definition version and um, HD is the high definition version which is basically down to how much visual detail there is in the model and then there is the advanced and there's the standard version which tells you whether it uses the hard or the advanced physics Hey Marino, welcome back. Oh, boiler pressure's starting to bite the big one. So let's move that back and let's get the blower on. Fire mass is a bit low as well. Let's get some more oil in there. At least the fire is still running, that's a good sign. Come on there, boiler pressure, come up. There she comes. Slowly but surely. How's the water level? Oh, water level's a bit low. I was too busy taking fun photographs. I'm not watching what I was doing. So we're going to be three minutes late at the next stop, which is fine, because like I said, I've stopped worried about score. Learn to drive the loco. When you've perfected the loco, then worry about things like score. You worry about things like score all the time. Before you've learned the loco, you're just going to resent the loco, and that's entirely not appropriate. Uh, Marino MRRQ, Jerry T81, and Jack Jinks. Welcome to the channel this evening. Good to see you. We are gradually accelerating. Get that blower off, we don't need it now. Hey, uh, Bandan Jock and Sweet Gaming, welcome to the channel this evening. So the boiler pressure's back up, so we don't need the uh, blower running. So when I'm controlling the acceleration I'm actually using this gauge up here yeah so you can see it's at uh, 5 so I'm putting power in at the moment oh hello what's going on here bit of a jump there um, so if I now accelerate you put some more on the regulator you see this goes up yeah and if I now stop it and slow it down you can see that I can control and this is how much acceleration I'm gonna get and you're using the A and D to put steam into the steam chest Oh, we're starting to get water back in the boiler again. That's good. Boiler pressure staying good. Hey, Speedy. Hey, MRRKEW. Thanks for joining. Um, they vary in difficulty. This is probably one of the most difficult ones to drive. Um, in general, find uh, steam engines are the most difficult. Uh, hey, ZZQQZZ1234. That's a cool username. Uh, welcome to the channel. So the... Um, the steam engines are going to be the hard ones to drive, so if you want to challenge, learn the steam engines. Um, but then there's also safety and signalling systems, which also add complexity even to the simpler to drive ones. So in Germany, the PZB system will give you nightmares.
No, exactly. Uh, we've got enough water going in. We're at about 50% on the boiler by the looks of it. Hey, thanks for the follow there, ZZQQZZ1234. I should get a train whistle for that, shouldn't I? Ah, oh, awesome idea. Uh, Speedy, no, I've got one more scenario this evening. So this is the Steam Special. And um, to the uh, Steam Special is the Q1, which we did before. The FEF3 in advanced mode, which we are doing now. And then we are doing the BR52. Thank you for the follow, Mr. RQ. Thank you, much appreciated. And thank you, Moomot, for not seeing that. Ah, it's just woke up. <laughs> uh, we're accelerating now, and we're still maintaining boiler pressure. That's good. Hey there, RCPD Chief. Welcome to the channel this evening. Okay, so we're putting in about as much water as we can. Hey Ninja Joker, thanks for the follow, much appreciated. We're starting to dip out on the boiler pressure a little bit, but we're also getting to where we don't need any more. So if I back off on the um, regulator, you can see the steam chest start to come down, uh, and that will mean that we've got a bit less power going into the cylinders. Cylinders being those things, of course. Certainly doesn't hurt to uh, check the gauge glasses and make sure that they're not blocked. How is that looking? That's pretty much where it was before. There's some more pressure into the steam chest. We're slowing down too much. Uh, sorry, JM1260, you asked if I've checked for the new change route loco screens. Um, I haven't. <clears throat> I'm going to do that this weekend and have that ready for Monday's show. Well, Sunday's if there is a show on Sunday. Oh, I've been talking too much. My throat is starting to hurt now. Um, MRQ KW. Um, I don't know about in America, but certainly in the UK, we've got uh, one engine which is very, really is brand new. It's called the Tornado. Um, and the same group are in the process of making another one. And two or three other groups are actually making steam engines as well. I don't know when they're going to come out. It, it takes a good 15 years for these groups to make a steam engine because there's an awful lot involved in it um, although Union Pacific have just undertaken re, uh, reworking the uh, the big boy the 4884 which was the uh, the bigger the biggest brother to this loco um, so uh, that should be really impressive when that's done and that'll be going back into service this one's actually in service in America doing special runs much like this one here Boiler pressure is doing well, water level is, yeah, water level is fine for the time being. Considering this hammering up this hill and we've got to keep the regulator open. Can I show the pressure and the fire? I'm not quite sure what you mean, Jesse. That's the fire. And the pressure is dropping. That's it, it's coming back up again now. Oh, we're now going to break the start breaking the speed limit. That's not clever. Stop doing that. There we go. On my head. Uh, it doesn't really work, to be honest. It's it, This is not a, um, a HUD drivable loco, so those numbers aren't relevant to what's going on with this particular loco. Um, up here is slightly more relevant 
so I can see the uh, status of a few things, particularly the fire mass, which is way too high at the moment. How's the water level doing? Fine. Oh, that's very nice, Jam. Can you find a link and pass that on to me? I'd be interested to see what's going on with that. Elite 620, Dougie 68, the Talonks and Ollie Green Dot. Welcome to the uh, the channel this evening. Oh, I only lost minus 28 points. That's cool. I don't mind losing 28 points. Not when I've already lost 1,500. <laughs> <laughs> Dale Main 2 is our next one in six and a half miles. He is back on the regulator. Oh, the T1. Yes, I know the T1. So it's even got the quilling. When you press the enter key while the horn is down and it quills it. I've been too busy. <laughs> All I do is spend the entire time buzzing around this cab like a crazy lunatic. Because I'm a crazy lunatic, let's be honest. You've seen my score, you've seen me speeding. Clearly I'm a crazy lunatic. Right, put the, uh, the brake on. So this is our uh, brake coming on now. We're slowing down for the 45 limit. This is the brake cylinder applying, so we're now slowing down. Once we get down to 45, right, I can release the brakes now. That's it. So we've slowed down. This really is the closest you'll get to driving the real thing here. Have I ever done a real steam engine? Nope. Never drove any real trains. Although I kind of feel like I have having driven this one. Oh look behind us. Oh look at that. That's nice. Boiler pressure is still good. Water levels are coming back up. Now we've eased up on the regulator, so I'm going to uh, turn off the exhaust injector. Sorry, the li yeah, the exhaust injector. No, that's the live injector. Hey, Dopeak. Welcome to the channel this evening. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I must admit, I am tempted by a footplate experience. There's just usually more pressing things to spend money on. <laughs> Cars, houses, children's birthdays. <laughs> oh dear. You know, I'm seeing none of the scenery here. None of it at all. You know, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. I'm having too much fun in the cab.
Right. We're about to get opened up into the 50. We've got uh, three miles to go for Dale. Hello, where did everything go? There it is. Ah. I lost my train. Oh, there he is, up there. I wanted him around the corner. That'll do. Good, boiler the pressure still good, water level still good, speed is falling. Put some pressure in the steam chest. I missed out one other important thing there, Matt, and it's not that far away either if you don't want to be in the doghouse for a while. Go on, tell me because apparently I've still forgotten, even with a reminder. Bunga and uh, Nozi, welcome to the channel this evening. Headlights are on. See? See the line there? Headlights are on, it was one of the first things I did, put them in the uh, headlights front full position. Oh yes, 1402, I see what you mean, yes. Yeah, she can wait. <laughs> he says, quickly checking the uh, list to see if the wife is still on there. And she isn't. But she'll probably watch it on YouTube. Nah, she won't watch it on YouTube. Now she will, almost certainly. You wanted horn, I got horn. That went, that sort of came out wrong. So let's apply some brakes. We're going downhill now. So we've got probably a massive application on the brakes, I don't need that much. So where are we going here? Amosa, 14.59 How long is this scenario? Made even longer because of the fact that I'm running late. But no, actually not running too late. A little bit, but not a lot. Uh, we're due in in about 10 minutes. It's about uh, 50 minutes long this scenario, 5-0. Not helped by the fact that I had to restart it. Coming into Dale. Hey, hot dog, welcome back. Yeah, we blew up on the uh, Q1, didn't we? Hey, Superview, welcome back. Welcome to the channel, sorry. I didn't get the uh, the Q1 scenario done in time and uh, blew up the, 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 the whole of um, Milford, Midford. Let's 
make a modest application of the brake this time. Oil pressure still good. Water level not so good. Let's get that injector switched on again. Or the feed water pump, sorry. This is very true, Ed. So the problem was that I exploded. I was rather caught in up in the explosion. Hey, Spidoo, never lived. JJ's movie hole. Welcome back. Welcome to the channel. I've got the brakes on, let's get the brakes released. We're in at 45, we need to be going a bit faster than this. Cheers, Speedy. See you later. Cheers, 9299. Thanks for joining us. And uh, welcome to the channel, Mumsy. If you're new to the channel and you haven't yet hit subscribe, follow whatever it is on Twitch, please do so. So that way you'll be notified when we do future streams, which is every night at 9.30. I will send some more over, Dave, definitely. I'm going to take a selection of the best ones. I've had quite a lot sent to me now, so I'm going to take the selection of the best ones and uh, use the uh, and use those. So the more the merrier for me to pick from. CA9299, thanks for joining us. So we are stopping in three miles. Hey, PP Woods here on Blue 7 even. Dale Junction, Main 2 East. So that's uh, given us an adverse signal. I can't see because the uh, deflector is rather neatly in the way. How's that water level doing? Coming up nicely. I don't need to go too fast because we're stopping in about three miles. Probably two now. Hey George. Um, yeah, by all means, let me have some suggestions. The Division Road foreman will be waiting for you at Amosa and will ride with you to Laramie. Bring your head end to a stop at Amosa Main 2 West to pick him up. Dispatcher out. So uh, that's uh, east east of Amosa is 1.3 miles. And west is at 2.6 miles. Sorry, 9299, didn't see that. Yes, uh, no, I don't do weekends. I sometimes do a Sunday night. It depends what time I get back from my travels. Um, otherwise than that, next one will be Monday. Keep an eye on Facebook. Uh, all details up there. Facebook, Train Sim, uh, Train Sim Live, Facebook, Live Train Sim on Twitter. And also you can find the uh, videos on YouTube.
probably don't need any more water in there now we're going to be slowing to a stop soon So glad I got the cab light on now. Ooh, spooky. Can't see the cab light anymore. Well, that wasn't clever, was it? Apply a little bit of brake. Turn the cab light back on. So I'm just easing that back now with the brakes. We're not stopping at Hermosa Main 2 East, we're stopping at Hermosa Main 2 West, but... Uh, it's still on the cards, I'm still trying to work out the, uh, the logistics of uh, how we can get that done, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to uh, leave it too much longer before we, uh, we come up with a plan for that, because I know it's something that's very, very much sought after, so uh, I will uh, endeavour to get that one as soon as possible. Right, bottom signals, so we're going to get cut off onto the middle one. There we go. This is a 30 limit, so I should have slowed down more. Look at the detail in that cab. Even that swinging around in there. Crikey. That's amazing. Welcome to the stream, Jamie. Cheers, East Coast Cliff. Thanks for joining us this evening. detail in this. We've got a very gentle break going on at the moment just to slow us down. Are we all in yet? Yeah, we're all in. Hey, so Carlos, Steve Owen Newage, welcome to the channel this evening. So our stopping point is just here in a third of a mile. And I'm just easing up to it. That would be phenomenal, wouldn't it, Dark? Absolutely phenomenal. And what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to do this. I want all, you know, real controllers. That would be spectacular. I might never leave my room. 
So probably not a good idea, really. Hey, Mama Snell, thanks for joining us on the channel this evening. Got a green signal. Coming into the stop now. The big problem with the um, the Oculus is um, it's more down to the games rather than the Oculus. It's a uh, because it's much more se you're much more sensitive to frame rate, um, and the Oculus is built around having 60 frames a second on DK1 and 75 frames a second on DK2. And if you the games you're running on the machine you're running them on can't handle that frame rate, then you immediately start getting into motion sickness territory, and that's generally one of the biggest causes of problems. Hey, Aquaman and Boston. Thanks for joining us on the channel this evening. Well done. We'll be here for a few minutes while the road foreman climbs aboard. Take a break. Scenario complete. I finished it. Let's not worry about that score. See, zero. That's what I scored. Zero. <laughs> right. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was um, the um, the FEF in uh, super advanced, do everything yourself mode. And uh, yeah, I did make up some points. It's cool, huh? Um, and just to prove that it can be done. Uh, and some hints on how to do it, but like I said at the beginning, both beginnings. I stress that that is not necessarily the right way to do it. It's just a way to do it that will get you to the end. Uh, read the manual and uh, learn how to do it. It's uh, it's well worth putting the effort into it. And don't be afraid by the fact that it's difficult to uh, to learn because it does come with a standard HUD compatible version. So uh, yeah, that's cool. Now, time for something that hopefully a little easier. <laughs> Let's go back to changing route, and I'm going to mute this while I just have a quick drink because my throat is very sore. I'm in a bad way now. I've just had my last, got my last can out. <laughs> 